assume for running B100, right? Yeah, that's that's correct. As summer approaches, it's a beautiful time to run it. Temperatures are warmer. Your engine's going to do fine with it. And I do have to also point out, if you're running your diesels in fairly hot climates, like Arizona and Nevada, and you're watching those exhaust temps, it's already hot outside, biodiesel's going to keep them running cooler. So it can actually, it's been shown to actually be able to extend the life of those engines. So it's kind of important. I'm just looking here at my national thing. Um, it's put out by the federal government, Department of Energy, and boy, this is spiking all over. If you go to my website, it's right on the front. It says, tired of high diesel prices, click here. It's actually on the word high diesel prices. And you can see just how big the spike in diesel prices have gone in the last couple of weeks. Wow, and only going up, that's for sure. Well, I'm sure people can sort of figure out, I mean, you can make it for a dollar a gallon, minus whatever the current price is, let's say $3 a gallon you'd be saving once you can run that B100. And depending on the mileage that people run, they can pretty much figure out how quickly they'd be able to pay for one of these units. And maybe even if they went in with a neighbor or something, both had diesel trucks, those units mm -hmm. pay for themselves pretty quick, I'd assume. They do. Actually, along that line, if you get to the website, there's actually some ROI or return on investment calculators that you can pull up, and regardless of the equipment you choose to use, mine or anyone else's, you can feed it what your costs are. And um, I'm, I'm just staring at one right here. Let's say that you bought the smallest unit, five, uh, about six grand, and you fed it uh, oil. You'd only have to make uh, 25, about 2,600 gallons to reach payback. Um, that's that's not that much if you consider how much you drive, and if, especially if you drive a lot. Uh, let's take your average diesel truck. What's it get about? Uh, we'll call it 50, 18 miles to the gallon. Sounds good. Yeah. Sound about right. So twenty five ninety six divided by eighteen. That's one hundred and forty four fill ups. Well, it's a hundred. Well, let's see. It's not much. <laughs> I'll tell you that twenty five ninety six divided by eighteen. You can go, you can fill that tank, I guess, 144 times and uh, be done pretty quick. I don't think I did that right. Times. Bye -bye. Well, anyway, it's pretty quick. <laughs> you can <laughs> you, pay one of those off pretty fast. You yourself, I was really impressed with the, the setup you had with a, with a partner of yours. He actually has a fleet of vehicles that you guys, how, ma how many gallons did you guys brew just last year alone? We brewed over 6,800 gallons last year. Uh, we, I've partnered with a guy that's got about seven diesel pickups and a big, like a lumber delivery style delivery truck. And we've got all three of the big makes. We've got a Ford, Chevy, and a Dodge. We're running uh, biodiesel in all of them. Someone asked about the new engines. We've actually got a 2007 and a 2006 Duramax that we're running it in. And we've, we've done pretty well. I do have to kind of tell you there are some downsides to running biodiesel. I've mentioned them first of all. One of them is that you're going to get decreased fuel mileage because there's less energy in there. Um, of course, if you're paying a dollar a gallon, who cares? <laughs> but it, it's, it's not going to drop a whole lot. The other thing is um, you're going to need to learn how to change your fuel filter fairly quickly because biodiesel acts as a really super powered uh, fuel system cleaner and it'll clean all the gunk out that you've had diesel in there. You'll plug a few fuel filters, and we've got pretty good at changing those, but once you get through all the gunk that was in there from diesel, you'll be on your way. Okay, great. So it's going to clean all the junk out of your fuel system as well. For it's probably the first couple of tanks is going to do some hyper-cleaning, so to speak, throughout that fuel system, right? Mm-hmm, that's correct. Clean that, junk correct. Out of the, clean that junk out of the fuel system. Well, yeah, great. I think I think we've touched on a lot of the the common questions uh, that that people have about biodiesel. Hopefully, we've been able to to confirm or, you know, get them over some of their common fears that you hear about. Uh, what mm -hmm. what's on the horizon with Utah Biodiesel Supply? What can we look forward to? Well, first of all, you're going to see us continue to move uh, grow our product base. You're going to see us move into a few more uh, biodiesel products. We're going to move more into tutorials as we partner again. You've you've heard of the things we're doing with. Uh, Harley's diesel performance, our goal is to make a, a site that you can go to and learn everything you need to about biodiesel and then uh, also be able to link off to anyone else that's got great information. We, uh, we're we not prideful. We don't know. We, we recognize we don't know it all, and so we link to some of the best and uh, brightest out there. Uh, you'll, you'll see us continue to grow in all sorts of different areas. If it's, if it's related to biodiesel in any way, shape, or form, you'll probably see us getting into it. 
just a side note, too, if you're interested in seeing what people's homebrew places or plants look like, we run another website through our site called Biodiesel Pictures. If you go to biodieselpictures.com, you can see all people's setups from all over the world that are coming in and posting their pictures of this stuff. Everything from their collection gear to the stuff they make it with, what their biodiesel looks like, and also what their rigs look like that they're running it in so they can brag about how good they're doing. (laughs) Well, great. So any other sites? We have utahbiodieselsupply.com. What was the URL to the other site you just mentioned? Uh huh. You know, there's another website for those that are real interested in just learning about biodiesel in general. There's a website called biodieseltutorial.com. It's an open source website. It was written by a bunch of people that their only goal was just to pass information on to others. It's not anyone that's trying to push an agenda or anything. It's just a great site to teach you how to make biodiesel. There's articles on everything from collecting oil to purchasing methanol and the components that go into it uh, to figuring out how to dry it and and just make really good, high-quality biodiesel. It was written by some of the best out there. So I highly recommend that one. Also, if you're into forums, there's some great forums on the Internet for biodiesel, just like trucks and and diesels. On my website on the left-hand side, under my biodiesel fun section, I have a link that says forums. If you click on it, it'll tell you about some of the most popular ones out there. Uh, The one that's the biggest in the world is one called Infopop Biodiesel. It's um, by far the largest out there, oldest, and the best. Um, you'll see a link to it right from our site at utahbio.com. But if you're interested in learning about this, go out and post. Ask these guys, hey, I've got a 2005 Dodge Cummins. What's it done in your truck? And within a matter of hours, you'll actually get a response. Um, highly recommended. All right. Well, excellent. There's plenty of information out there, and we're going to work on supplying more and more of that information. Great, and it's always a pleasure. Uh, We look forward to working with you more and more, trying to get more of those tutorial videos out, and uh, we look forward to talking to you next time. Well, thank you for having me. Have a great night, and I wish all your customers and those listening a happy experience with biodiesel. We hope you like it. All right. Well, excellent. We appreciate it.